Sawadika. Sorry, I forgot to say it. Um, welcome to Thailand. Oh, we've already done that bit, but uh, so this morning, Laura and I have come down to breakfast and judging from yesterday's breakfast we were really excited because it was so much better than Value Hotel Thompson. I can't remember if I told you what Value Hotel Thompson um, breakfast was like, but just as a reminder, Value Hotel Thompson breakfast in Singapore was uh, chicken nuggets, baked beans, onion rings, dragon fruit and orange when we got up early. The coffee was like really, really diluted coffee. It didn't taste of coffee, did it? So today we had a couple of croissants, chocolate cereal. Laura's been having omelets made to order, pancakes and honey yesterday. So yeah, it's a good breakfast here. I'm very impressed with it. We are slightly worried we might be tsunami, <laughs> but we're going to keep up the holiday spirit. Uh, not let that worry us too much. Um, I'll try and get some shots outdoors today, but it is literally chucking it down um, all the time. Like it stopped for what an hour maybe last night before we went to bed. That's it. And the rest of the day it's just rain, 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 rain. I've already broken my umbrella because it's been windy and rainy, <laughs> but it was pretty crappy to start with. So I'm borrowing the one in the hotel. Thank goodness for Crocs, obviously, because we've been doing a lot of wading through puddles. Wading through puddles. Not just stepping in them, wading. Um, we got a manicure, it was cheap, it was crap. So it's been, it's been an interesting vacation. Yes, Thailand, you are interesting. We went in the pool yesterday when it was raining as well, because I, I convinced Lauren it was warm. And it was warm, when I stuck my toe in it was warm. Warm, like bath water. But then once we got in, I think because we're outdoors, it felt cooler. So um, yeah, oh dear. All right, so we're going to Patong today, and um, we may party it up later. We may not. We're not sure yet. Uh, we're just hoping there's more to do than uh, <laughs> this. Isn't even Phuket, is it? Where are we? This is Naihao. So we tried to get to Phuket yesterday with a little tuk-tuk man, and uh, that failed miserably. Uh, he took us to like the outskirts of Phuket. Um, to this like market thing <laughs> uh, where we bought some crap so that's okay um, and then uh, he took us to eat some really good Thai food which is good however this morning I still tasted garlic <laughs> I don't know about you Lauren yeah. um, hopefully it'll wear off today so rainy season in Thailand looks a little bit like this. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. Oh my gosh, I think we're getting wet already. I'm not sure if you can see the rain even. But the sea. Yeah. I got a little bit wet just from standing here. Um, <laughs> we love rainy season. So we're on our little shuttle, which we didn't know was going to be a tuk-tuk, but it is. <laughs> um, going to uh, Patong. Uh, the rain has died down somewhat. We had to wait about 15 minutes for the rain to die down before we go anywhere. It's pretty rammed in our bus. Um, Lauren's over here. Um, and we've got to put our brollies open so we don't get totally splashed on the way. Um, hopefully I'll get some footage of us in the tuk-tuk because it was super fun when we did it yesterday. Um, just like being able to see everything passing you by and the, oh, and the amounts of the ridiculous amounts of water on the, um, on the road. Like it was like a ford in most places. Um, my butt is already wet. Oh. <laughs> so I don't know if you can hear me, um, I'll probably fast forward this when I edit it anyway, but this was where Lauren and I walked yesterday down from the hotel. Um, you can't see that, but there's a sign that says Tsunami Hazard Zone. 
which is not the most comforting sign you see when you're on vacation and it's chucking it down with rain. But still, um, the surroundings though are absolutely beautiful over there. Um, oh look, normal road. So we've just passed a bunch of like elements, uh, I don't know, camps. Um, and I've, I've turned this back on in hope that we might see some more, but I, I don't know if we will. But they're just like sat there, like like you would see a horse in a field. It's so weird to think that where I come from, you don't just see elephants like that, you know, that, that you have to go to a zoo and they're locked, locked up and kept in captivity. Um, but here it's just like, oh yeah, there's an elephant, side of the road. this one and tell you what we've been up to so far. So what have we done Lauren this morning? Well, we uh, thought we missed our tuck tuck to get here in Patong, lovely Patong, but we did not miss it. We waited a half hour, crammed in the back of the tuck tuck, waited through three feet of water, made it to Patong, jumped off, were accosted by various salespeople as they tried to sell us massage or you want a good tie candle or I give you good price. So, no, we did not buy anything. We ended up in our, uh, you know, paradise where we always go, a coffee shop. <laughs> Starbucks is nine dollars for a cup of coffee. So we ended up in the coffee club where we will eat pancakes that are served all day. And then we will venture out into the depths of Patong and see what we can find. There are all cracks nearby, so Nicholas should be excited about that. <laughs> I just went to the cinema to see Men in Black 3, but we couldn't see all of it because we didn't have enough time to get the tuk tuk back. And for the first time during our vacation, it's not raining in the daytime! Woohoo! Yeah. And it makes sense um, they have the fountains on now. Yes! Earlier they had these water fountains on, and we're like, why? It's chucking it down with rain. Uh, but now it's like, it's totally okay because it's not raining. Now we're gonna get the tuk tuk back to uh, our hotel, and maybe we could go in the pool. Oh, oh. The Oh my god, the opportunities are endless. Now it's stopped raining. Um, okay, I just had to document the fact that it wasn't raining. Oh, that was a bit sloppy. Bye! Hi, welcome to Phuket Airport. Could you please wait outside? Because the airport is not ready yet. We've not put everything out yet. Sorry. So it's June the 9th um, and of course uh, I've, I'm so rude and I forgot to wish you all a happy new year. No clown.